Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Today we're going to continue our taste testing of the current 24 MRE menus. After we taste everything, we'll give it a rating. So stay tuned for menu number 14, creamy spinach fettuccine. Thanks for watching. So here it is, menu number 14, creamy spinach fettuccine. It says egg noodles, spinach, and mushrooms in a cream sauce. Once again, from the AmeriQual Company, Evansville, Indiana. Production code on this is the 172nd day of 2018. Let's see if we can open it with the peelable seal. Looks good, maybe. All right, there we go. As usual, we've got our main meal. This is creamy spinach fettuccine. And we're going to put that right over here along with its uh, cardboard case, which we use to heat it up. We've got some pretzel sticks. And man, these feel really small. Maybe they're smushed or maybe they're just really, really small. We've got another First Strike Nutritious Energy Bar. Once again, chocolate flavor. We've had that before and it's not too bad. We've got some peanut butter. As usual with peanut butter, we've got some crackers. All right, we've got some chocolate protein drink powder. Put that right here. We've got our MRE spoon, some pepper sauce. We've got a beverage bag and our FRH, which I'll put over here. Let's check out our accessory packet. So we've got some salt, some sugar, coffee instant type two, some creamer, matches, moist towelette, toilet paper, and some gum. That's what's inside of this meal. As usual, we're gonna get everything warming up in the FRH. We'll get everything here onto a tray and then we'll give it a try. Let's start with our drinks. So we're gonna start with our drinks, and in fact, we're gonna make one drink out of this. We've got coffee, we've got creamer, and we've got this chocolate protein powder. What I like to do is, I don't like the coffee very much. I've told you guys that before. So let's put our coffee in here. Coffee calls for six ounces of water. Next, we'll put our creamer, okay? If we put six ounces of water in there, you're gonna get mediocre coffee at best. But we're gonna use this chocolate protein powder is kind of like hot chocolate and make a little bit of a mochaccino here. Just add it in. It calls for eight ounces of water. So I'm gonna go with that, about eight or nine ounces of water in here, hot water, to try to make a nice warm chocolatey drink. Now you can make this separately if you want. Obviously you can make coffee separate from basically like Ovaltine, chocolate type Ovaltine, but I like this better. Here comes our water. Now when you do this, you have to stir it like crazy or you really end up with a lot of undissolved chocolate drink in there. So stir this for a good 30 seconds at least. So there is basically a GI mochaccino. We'll put our top on and get the rest of our food out. So while our main meal heats, we're gonna get out the rest of our goodies. We've got some pretzel sticks here. You might note once again, this is another vegetarian meal. We've got our white crackers, okay? These are always nice and fresh. Perfect, open there. Pull these out. I've never had any of these broken. We're gonna have one cracker with peanut butter and we're gonna have one cracker to eat with our pasta. So we get our peanut butter. The other thing we can do with the peanut butter, uh, which I got from a comment, which is a good idea, is just to put some peanut butter on the pretzels or dip the pretzels in the peanut butter. That could be really good too. So we're just gonna knead this up really well. So we'll put some peanut butter on this one. And then what I'm gonna do is just open up a little pocket here and we will put the rest of our peanut butter right here with our pretzels and dip those in there. That's a pretty good idea, we're gonna try that. Last, we'll look at our First Strike Bar. Um, been surprised with these. I've been quite pleased with them. I didn't think I would like them. This looks like chocolate, which is the same as I've had before very hard it's an interesting texture but I've had good results with it before there's all of our food aside from our main dish so let's check and see how well it's heating up so we've got our nice piping hot meal from our FRH let's open this up see what it looks like oh that's nice it opened real well let's give it a sniff smell a lot of spinach there and there is our meal mushrooms chicken spinach noodles doesn't look too bad. Uh, if you don't like spinach, you might not like it. I happen to love spinach, so this should be pretty good. So as always, we are gonna start with our drink. This is our coffee, creamer, and chocolate powder all mixed together and make like a little bit of a mocha. Wow, it's really strong. Probably could have used more, more liquid. It's hard to believe this only calls for eight ounces of, uh, of water with the chocolate drink because it's really strong. Mm. That said though, 
It's good, so much better than the coffee on its own. And I don't tend to like cold chocolate drinks, so uh, some people might. It almost be like a chocolate milk. I don't really like that. I like it warm, so that's why I did this. So let's go over to the First Strike Bar. Uh, again, this First Strike series is a really nutritious, high energy series that they have in some of the MREs. I think they're used a lot in the cold weather MREs as well. Um, I tend to not like nutrition bars or protein bars, stuff like that, but these have been pretty good in the past. Yeah, it's still quite good. I'm always just surprised when I eat it. If I walked up to a line of First Strike bars with, with 10 different flavors, chocolate would probably be the last one that I would pick. But I'm always pleasantly surprised. It's quite, quite good. It doesn't taste overly processed. It's got a nice texture to it. Really pretty nice. Let's try a couple pretzels. We'll just eat some pretzels on their own. They should be just regular pretzels, right? And then of course we can make pretzels that are already fairly thirst provoking, even more thirst provoking by dipping them in some peanut butter, but it's nice. Mm. You know what? Hold on. This is how we're gonna roll right here. Get a first strike bar, put some peanut butter on it, pop a couple of pretzels, kind of like a chocolate peanut pretzel. That's not a bad idea, huh? Let's give it a whirl. Mmm. All right. Now that was good. So this is what you do. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, this is what you do. Don't put peanut butter on this cracker. Spread peanut butter all over your first strike bar, then stud it with pretzels and that is a home run. Oh my goodness, we're gonna do that again. Oh yeah. Oh man, that is so good, so good. Kinda disappointed now I put this peanut butter over here, but regardless, uh, we'll try a little bit. Let's try a cracker with nothing on it. Just a regular old cracker, let's see what it tastes like. Haven't done that in a little while. Really tastes like those Keebler white crackers straight out of that big metal tin. Really good, they're really good. Let's um. Up the ante a little bit, put a little bit of peanut butter. You know what we're gonna do though? We don't need that much peanut butter. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do that right there. And watch, you just grab this and just kind of go to town. Oh man, look at that. That's where it's at. That's where it's at. I'll just come back to that in a little while. Anyway, let's try our cracker with some peanut butter. The peanut butter I've talked about before, it is very savory, not sweet at all. Salty, fresh tasting, really good peanut butter. Mm. It's that. It's that taste of home, man. It's just so, so good. All right, let's look at this main dish. I expected it to be a little chunkier, to have more chicken and more noodles and stuff. Does it look great? Let's see, let's give it a sniff again. So it smells, I don't know, it doesn't smell all that good. I hope it tastes better than it smells. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. It's okay. A little bland, salt would be good. Very overpowering spinach flavor, which is okay. It does taste really kind of canned and there's something just a little off for it, but it's not terrible, but it's not great. I bet you though, you calm that strong flavor down with the cracker, it'll be better. Oh yeah, yep, definitely. What'll be even better is this though. Hmm. Oh good. Okay, so let me spend a little more time with my food here and then we'll meet over on the other side of the shop and we will discuss this and give it a rating. So there you have it, menu number 14, creamy spinach fettuccine. This is another vegetarian meal, and sadly, it is the first vegetarian meal that I really don't like. As always, we're gonna give it a rating. We're gonna go through each individual component and then give the overall meal a rating. The scale is very simple. It's a one to 10 system. A one is food that I would hesitate to give to my dog. Five is food that's tolerable, but I wouldn't necessarily call enjoyable. And a 10, of course, is food that I would eat any day of the week, no questions asked. Starting with our drink, as y'all know, I don't like the coffee on its own. Go back and check the previous, you know, 10 or 12 videos when I've had the coffee instant type two. It's bitter, it doesn't taste very good. If you get some sweetener, it goes okay. So we could have added the sugar to this particular coffee and it probably would have been okay. But instead I decided to combine the chocolate powder with the coffee and the creamer and make a little mocha. It's very, very good. I probably could have added another two, maybe even four ounces of water to kind of dull it down a little bit because it was a really strong, rich chocolate flavor. Probably could have toned that down a little bit, but overall very, very good. Combined like this, I'll give this a seven. The pretzels are pretzels. I mean, you eat them any day. I like pretzels, so they're a nine. I mean, they're a basic pretzel. The crackers, about a seven. They're standard crackers. There's nothing special about them, but there's nothing bad about them. They're just good crackers. One thing I'm always impressed with is that they taste fresh and they're never broken, and that's really nice. Next, we have the peanut butter. The peanut butter is always something that I rate pretty highly. It's an eight. It's a, it's a good solid peanut butter. I don't like sweet peanut butter. I want peanut butter that tastes like chopped up peanuts. And that's exactly what this tastes like. It's fresh, it's savory, it's really good. 
The first strike bar, once again, is something that I would never, ever pick off of the shelf, but I tend to like them. I think all three of them that I've had have been chocolate. Kind of a bummer, I'd like to try a different one. Maybe they don't come in a different flavor, but I've always gotten chocolate. If any of you guys have gotten one that's not chocolate, let me know down below in the comments. I'll say it again, it tastes like a Nestle's Crunch that's already chewed up, so you kind of have that mushy Nestle's Crunch. That's really what it tastes like. It's not bad at all. It's not super processed tasting, which is something you really can get a lot out of these bars. Sometimes, you know, they're trying to make the bar into something it's not, and it ends up tasting terrible. They didn't do that with this, which is really nice. We're gonna give the chocolate first strike bar a seven. Now we move to the creamy spinach fettuccine. There's just something about the flavor that's off to me. It's just, maybe it's the spinach. And again, I love spinach. I love creamy stuff. I love all that. This should have been really good. It wasn't. I still have an aftertaste in my mouth. It's just something about it. I can't describe it. It tastes really almost minerally. I don't know. I just didn't like it. You couldn't see any real chicken in it. There were hardly any noodles. It was basically just kind of like a spinach creamy mush. Taste was acceptable, but it wasn't really great. We're going to give it a six. Not a very good score, but really not a very good meal to me. So we have quite a few good components, but the main meal really, really drags it down. And it's hard to give a good score, even when you have some eights and nines in the side dishes and stuff, and a good coffee, cappuccino, mocha thing. It's still hard to give it more than a seven. I almost hesitate to give it a seven, but we're gonna give it a seven just because the stuff around the spinach fettuccine is quite good, and combining chocolate with peanut butter and pretzels, it's a good thing. Speak of the devil, you take that chocolate bar and you put some peanut butter on it and add some pretzels just like I did. You got chocolate, you got savory, you got sweet, you got it all together, it's a nine. Definitely make that combination, it's the way to go. So there you go, menu number 14 gets a seven on our scale. As always guys, I appreciate you checking out the channel. I'm having a good time with these MREs. I'm getting towards the end. I think I have 10 more or so. Getting ready to be done with these. I'm spreading them out once a week, which is kind of nice, so I don't have to eat these things all the time. But they're generally pretty good, but man, you eat, you eat a lot of them and you get a little tired of it. If you like the video, please do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up down below. That helps spread things across YouTube. If you want to make sure you don't miss any videos, hit that subscription button. And if you want to be absolutely sure you don't miss any of my videos and they show up on your feed, hit that ding dong bell and you will be the first to know. Thanks again, guys, for watching the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Hope you enjoy this MRE series. We're gonna continue it down the road. Stay tuned for more videos soon.